In this video, I'll be going over the property pipeline. Your property pipeline is where you view and monitor all of the properties that you're working on. If you happen to have VAs calling leads for you, all of your yes leads will go there automatically, and you can also send your no leads there as well. If you're adding your own leads, you can either click deals and go to property pipeline, or you can scroll down and view property pipeline from here. This first square is where you'd click on to view all of your new properties. The second one is where you click to go to all the properties that you're currently evaluating, the ones under contract, and all the properties that you've closed. So let's start by clicking here. There's two ways to display all of the properties that are in your property pipeline. You can view it as a block view or you can display by a list view. There's also a couple different things that you can do here from the home screen of your property pipeline. You can add a new property, you can edit your marketing profiles, you can import properties. If you're importing properties here, they will strictly just go to the property pipeline. They won't be available for your VAs to call. You can also export properties from here. You're able to filter by, you can either filter by the feed source of a field agent, a manual lead that you put in, a web form, your seller website, or the equity analyzer. You're able to filter by status. So if you wanna just filter by your entire status, everything that you have in your property pipeline, or you can click new, evaluating, under contract, closed, or archived. You can also add a status. You can filter by deal type. So whether it's a rehab, wholesale, short sale, rental, lease option, owner finance, you can also add an additional deal type here. You can also search your property pipeline. Say you have 50 properties and looking at your screen, you don't see a quick view of everything, but you know the property that you're looking for. You can type right here and search and you'll be able to find it immediately. So let's click on a property. From here, you'll see the lead sheet. Typically when you open a property within the property pipeline, it's going to go to the lead sheet tab. So if this is a lead submitted by your VA, it'll have all of the seller's information, your property info, of course your property details, and any notes and comments. The next tab is your contacts tab. You of course will have the contact in the lead sheet. You can add a new contact or add an existing contact. So if somebody has contacted you from your website or they fill out a web form on a landing page, you can add them here. You can also edit any contact information. So say the seller or buyer has given you additional phone numbers or a different address, you can edit all of that information here. You can update your repair list, whether they're exterior, interior, or utility and plumbing repairs. You can examine comps. With your comp section, you're able to view the analyzed property, the sold comps, the rent comps. It also gives you a list view down here. You can go to your analyzer, which basically gives you a good view of what you could potentially make with each deal. You'd add your purchase price, the ARV, the way you're selling the home, the way the home is going to be financed, your loan amount, any of your expenses, the income, whether it be monthly or a deposit, your exit, and any reports that you would like to run. You can also add task. So if there's this particular task that you want to add to this property, you can do so. You can assign it to either yourself, your VA, or any other team account associated with your account. You can give the task a title. You can add a project, a contact, or a property. You can add a description, the task type, and a due date. You can manage your uploads. So not only will you be able to upload pictures of the property, but you can upload any important files or documents. You're also able to add notes. So anything that you haven't changed in the lead sheet or you haven't added as a task, you can add here. So say you spoke to the seller on 
Monday and you left a message, you could submit that note here so you can keep track of whenever you're contacting the seller. And then finally, you have your marketing tab. Your marketing tab is the way you manage where your property is submitted, whether it's on your website or it's through a property blaster. You also have your property basics here, of course, your address, your city, your state, the zip code, your market status, the listing type, the listing category, your price, bedrooms, bathrooms, your built. You have the ability to add property description. So it has a catchy title, a short description, and then you can add your full description here. You're able to add and edit property details. So address details, property features, a school profile, if the home is in a great district, the land and building information, so total rooms, your parking spaces, of course your stories, any additional pricing details. If you're having an open house, you can add those details as well as your MLS listing details and if you have a video tour. Not only are you able to upload pictures in the upload tab, but you're also able to upload pictures to your marketing tab. Let's scroll up and go into the marketing tab a little bit more. So as you know, we're on the property details, but you're also able to click here and generate a property landing page, which is basically a single page website to capture information. You can create a property flyer, an HTML flyer that you can use for email blast. This goes into the property blaster a little more so you can see where your property will be blasted to and also your marketing profile. Your marketing profile is what anybody sees when they receive information from your website or a landing page.